A breakthrough cancer vaccine for dogs could give your furry best friend a few more years of life. Scientists at Yale University say the rescue therapy vaccine has shown favorable results in clinical trials dating back to 2016. More than 300 dogs have been treated with the vaccine and their survival rate has increased from 35 to 60 percent. And check this out too. The benefits of the vaccine could possibly be translated into human cancer treatment at some point down the road as well. Let's bring in Dr. Bruce Smith a licensed veterinarian and professor at Auburn University College of Veterinary Medicine. A uh, big good morning to you, Dr. Smith. Thanks for being here with me. Talk about an exciting medical breakthrough for dog lovers to know that this is out there. Good morning and thank you for having me. I appreciate being the opportunity to talk about this vaccine. It's really amazing. Um, immunotherapy has been around for a long time. Immunotherapy is using the immune system to, to chase after cancer cells, but only in very crude ways. Um, this vaccine is designed to uh, attack a number of different cancers uh, and um, hopefully uh, reduce the death rate and, and illness rate from those cancers in dogs. How does this vaccine compare to other dog cancer treatments that have been on the market? Um, certainly, you know, oncologists in the veterinary world treat dogs much the same way that oncologists in the human world do. We use radiation therapy. We use uh, uh, chemotherapy, all those have pretty significant side effects, as I'm sure you're aware, right? Uh, hair loss, uh, GI problems. Um, and so when we start to use the immune system, it's a really powerful tool where we might be able to just focus the treatment on, on the disease itself and really reduce the, the side effects. Well, when I heard about this story, I don't have dogs myself. Our last dogs at my parents' house passed away a couple years ago, but I thought, my goodness, you know, what a relief to know that this is out there. Should you have a dog that gets sick? Talk about the, you know, it's considered rescue therapy for dogs who've been given other treatments that didn't work. So this is kind of a Hail Mary of sorts. So this is not one size fits all. What determines which dogs will respond to the treatment and, and which dogs won't? This is part of a, a whole trend in medicine called precision medicine. Um, and that's really revolving around the fact that we know so much more about our genomes and the dog genome how cells work. Uh, and so what precision medicine does is it tests for the presence of, uh, say, these a couple of proteins that are part of this vaccine and ask the question, are they in this dog's cancer? We used to treat cancer uh, like, um, say, we make a diagnosis, the pathologist will look through a microscope and say, yeah, this is bone cancer. So we have a protocol to treat bone cancer. Mm -hmm. Now we take that tumor cell and we ask what proteins are being expressed in it and then we base our treatment on the proteins that are being expressed. So it's very precise. And instead of now licensing a treatment for, say, bone cancer or liver cancer, now we license a treatment for a cancer that expresses protein X. And so this is a very precise way of looking at it. And, and we can also increase the, the success rate, if you will. So if we test a dog's tumor and say, yes, it's positive for this, now we know this vaccine would be a better treatment for it. Yeah, I mean, this changes the game. Lastly and quickly, I think anytime you talk about cancer treatment, whether it's in a dog or a human, one of the first thoughts that comes to your head is affordability. How much is this vaccine going to cost, you think? Um, I really don't know. It probably will be only available through veterinary oncologists. It's not the kind of thing that would necessarily be available at your local practitioner. And so um, I'm going to guess that it will be fairly expensive. The development pro process for this has been long and, um, and fairly intense. Yeah. Well, dogs become our children, our family members. We do anything for them. Uh, Dr. Bruce Smith, really fascinating. Thank you so much for your time and your insights this morning. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.